So uh, today I'm going to talk about our project uh, about the national flagship machine. So our Liken, uh, uh the Center for the Computing Science, is the main body to run the, our uh, Japanese national flagship machine called the K-Computer. So K-Computer is the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the supercomputer which has the uh, the 12 uh, petaflops. So we got the top one in uh, two, uh, 2011, that is uh, seven years ago. But uh, still, uh, the, the, this machine is uh, very active. So, and uh, uh, still uh, have the great uh, the performance in uh, the graph uh, processing. And uh, HPCZ is the conjugate gradient. Uh, the computation. So, and uh, uh, we have uh, still we have good good performance in the real application. So, flagship 2020 project uh, is the uh, have the mission to build uh, the Japanese flagship machine, uh, which uh, tentatively, tentatively called the POSK. That is a code name. So currently, we are call for a name for this computer. So deadline is the, uh, this week. So if you're interested in, please uh, uh, they give the name. So, and uh, not just the, the development of uh, uh, the system. So the mission is including a development of the wide range of application. Uh, the which is running on a, our, our machine. So that is the expected to be useful to solve the social uh, the, and the science issues in Japan. So planned budget uh, is, uh, uh, total planned budget is the almost 1.1 1. 1, uh, 1, 1, uh, billion uh, the US uh, uh, dollars. So it's include uh, research and development and man 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 manufacturing of the system. And of course, it's in include uh, uh, the development of the application. So project uh, is organized like this. So and uh, they can uh, is the, uh, in charge of the development of the this system. And Fitsu is the uh, vendor partner. So for the application, uh, government is identified uh, the important issue to solve to be solved in this supercomputer. So this is the uh, nine uh, priority issues, which is identified in a, uh, government committees. So from uh, drug discovery and uh, medicine and. Uh, this is the social health and longevity. So, and uh, next one is uh, uh, the 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 uh, disaster prevention and the climate. And uh, uh, the the these uh, uh, the issues is related to the energies uh, problem and uh, industry competitiveness and basic science. So in addition to this, uh, the in uh, June uh, the 2016, so four uh, the topics is, is, uh, was added. So first one is that the uh, agent-based simulation to solve the social phenomena, uh, social economic phenomena. And last one is that uh, related to the brain science and uh, AI. So, and uh, uh, now we have, uh, uh, the, this is the timeline of the project. So, and uh, we are now in the end of the design and implementation phases. So from, uh, uh, then from the, this uh, summer, so we are going to move to the manufacturing of the system, 
and uh, we have planned to installation from uh, uh, the, the beginning of the next year. And uh, after uh, the one year's uh, test and uh, uh, adjustment, so we are going to uh, start uh, public services from the spring of the 2021. So, and uh, again, uh, status and update is that uh, uh, we are uh, end of, now end of the design and implementation phase. And uh, from uh, at the, uh, the summer of the last year, we have the first prototype chip, pro first sequence. And uh, now uh, uh, we are testing the second version of the prototype. So, and uh, we are uh, the now is the, uh, the working on a performance evaluation, the tuning by the simulators and the compiler. So architectures, I, I'm going to detail uh, about, the, about the architectures. So this is the, uh, the just a uh, brief overview. Uh, the instruction set is the ARM, uh, the V8, plus uh, scalable vector extension. So I think uh, this is the chip, uh, the first chip, which have the SPE. So, and the number core is that uh, 48, plus some uh, additional cores for running the operating system. And uh, interesting things is that uh, the memory is the HBM. So no DDR. So memory and chip is, uh, is the package it in one uh, that, uh, uh, that chip. So, and, uh, and uh, 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 because of the very careful design uh, for uh, the energy and the power saving, we can achieve the 15 gigahertz per watt for the DGM kernel. That is, I think, uh, four times, uh, almost four times efficiency and the current existing are the Xeon processors. So, uh, the, at, the, at the beginning of the, uh, the, uh, the project, we set uh, three KPI, so key, key performance indicators. So one is the, the extreme power efficient system. That means that uh, the, our uh, facility capacity, uh, power capacity, is limited to 30 uh, to the 40 megawatt. That's, this is the large enough, but uh, to make a large system, this is the kind of the limitation. So second one is that uh, we don't uh, the target it to the benchmark. So uh, we are, uh, the, the want to layer performance in a layer application. And, uh, the, the, we expect uh, the, uh, the 100 times faster than the current K computer in some application. So that means K computer is a computer which have the 10 petaflops, and that means that uh, 100 times uh, faster than K computer. That is the, our definition of uh, the, the, the exascale uh, the computer. The last one is the easy to, to use uh, the, character, the features. That means uh, the our computer is a shared facilities by uh, the, the researchers in Japan. So uh, this uh, system must be easy to use for everybody. So this is the detail. Uh, the, as I said, uh, the instruction set is the ARM plus ISBE. So, and uh, uh, the, the length of the SIMD is the 512 bit uh, SIMD and the two pipes. So, and the number core is the 48 for the computation and uh, two or four, uh, two cores or four core is dedicated to run the operating system. So this is uh, important for the supercomputer to remove the operating system jitter. So, and uh, uh, the memory is uh, the HBM, so packaged 
in in the same uh, the in, in the same uh, package in the chip. And uh, we are using uh, the 32 gigabyte uh, 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 the HBM2. So one die is uh, uh, size is the eight gigabyte. That means that we have uh, four HBM uh, stack, HBM2 stack. That means the total memory capacity is the 32 gigabyte. So, and uh, 42 core is, uh, is uh, divided into the four, four groups. We call the, uh, the core memory groups. It means that uh, uh, the, the 12 cores, each uh, the 12 core is sharing the L2, system, L2 cache, the shared cache, and uh, the memory. So, so the, the cores and the L2 cache and the memory is the, uh, co consist the one group. So it's, it's kind of the NUMA node. So, and uh, these uh, are the clusters of the, uh, the group uh, is uh, connected by the network on chip. So, and the net this network on chip is uh, supporting uh, the shared memory uh, protocol. That means uh, that we can use the uh, 48 thread OpenMP program to use the, uh, uh, the 48 cores together. So, and uh, the, the silicon technologies, what well, this chip is the seven nanometers, uh, that's pin fed and uh, the upper uh, logic design, so which uh, achieved the, the 15 gigahertz of watt in the TGM. And uh, at this moment, we confirm uh, that uh, more than 2.7 teraflops uh, uh, at the TGM kernel, uh, as, a, as a peak of performance, and 90% efficiency of the TGM kernel. And the memory bandwidth, so each HBM2 is provided 250 uh, gigabytes per second. In the total, uh, this system, uh, the memory bandwidth is the one tera almost one terabyte. So this uh, bandwidth is uh, very comparable to the, uh, the Volta uh, in, uh, of the uh, NVIDIA. So and uh, to realize the performance in the real application, the, the ratio of the byte, uh, the memory bandwidth, and the flops is uh, very important. So we keep the uh, byte per flop uh, ratio uh, approximately 0.4. So this number is uh, very good for application. So I'm SBE. So I don't, have, I don't have to say the detail of the SVE. So SVE is uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, new uh, SIMD instruction uh, for the high performance computing. So and an interesting feature is the uh, vector agnostic uh, characteristics. That means that the instruction set is uh, independent, independent from the vector rings. So. In, in an inter, uh, the SIMD, SVE, uh, uh, X, uh, ABX2, or uh, the ABX512, uh, uh, 512. so the, according to the vector rings, the, the inter is using the different instruction set, additional instruction set. But uh, uh, the SVE is uh, providing very uniform and the same instruction set. Uh, for the uh, different uh, vector rings. So, and uh, this is the kind of example. It's, uh, this is taken from the, uh, the ARM info information, uh, the ARM uh, website. So comparing to the SCARA uh, code and uh, SV code, the, we don't have to, uh, we don't need any uh, the prologue uh, and epilogue uh, uh, the, the, because of uh, the very strong uh, uh, the predicate capabilities of the SVE. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, the, the, the chips, uh, the core is grouped in, in uh, core memory groups. 
So this is the, uh, the SV configuration, uh, addition in uh, CMG configuration. The 12 core is uh, serving uh, the, the L2 cache. So each uh, core have the just L1 cache, and uh, L2 cache is shared cache. And beyond uh, the L2 cache, we have uh, uh, the HBM2. So this uh, the, the figure shows the, uh, uh, the bandwidth for each, uh, each uh, uh, the connection between the L2 cache to the HBM2 and the L1 cache to the L2 cache and the L1 cache to the, uh, the, to the to, to, to the uh, core. So again, the, the between the, uh, uh, so within, uh, the, within uh, is the CMG. So this is the, just an, uh, the uniform memory, shared memory. But uh, between the CMG, so we have the four CMG in a chip. So uh, this is the NUMA. So and uh, uh, the the between the NUMA uh, uh, the 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 bandwidth is the 150 gigabyte per bidirectional. This is the enough to uh, the shared memory between uh, between the core. So this is the uh, the diagram of the pipeline uh, pipeline of uh, the, uh, the our chip. So. I don't, uh, I have no time, enough time to uh, explain this detail, but uh, the important thing is that uh, we have two pipes for uh, the 500 to uh, the CMD. So FLA and FLB is the, uh, the pipe for uh, CMD pipe. So in a, in, in a supercomputer, so interconnect is the also very important. So. In K computer, uh, the Fujitsu uh, has developed uh, in a very uh, low latency, uh, the, the high bandwidth of, of the interconnect. So we are using uh, the same uh, the, uh, topology and the same technologies, but a little bit enhanced. At the time of uh, the K computer, the bandwidth is the five uh, gigabyte per second for the link, but uh, now uh, the new uh, Posca uh, uh, the interconnect is the 6.8 gigabyte per second by for the link, so this is a little bit uh, faster. So and uh, addition to this, uh, the the uh, we enhanced uh, uh, the the DMA engine for uh, from the CPU. Uh, between the CPU and the network. So the engine is called the TNI, so TOF in, in, uh, network interface. So number of the TNI is uh, increased from uh, four to the six. So because that's so, uh, the injection bandwidth is increased. So, and uh, uh, preliminary performance in the real silicon, so we confirm uh, the by, by the real silicon, we confirmed the 2.5 uh, teraflops by DGM kernel, and also uh, the five, uh, eight, 830 gigabyte per second in a stream benchmark. So this is the comparison to the, uh, the, uh, to the uh, Fujitsu, uh, the previous machine, uh, the FX100. So, this is the chip to chip to chip uh, comparison. So, as you can see, uh, the comparing to the previous one, uh, the, we can achieve the almost three or three to four times faster than the previous one in a, in a, uh, the application. So, CFD and the systemic uh, wave uh, uh, the propagation. So, and the interesting things, things is that uh, the SVE has the, uh, the good uh, the features for uh, the deep learning. So it supports 
the arithmetic of the FP16. So the using uh, these uh, features, uh, FP16, uh, the calculation, and uh, integer, 8-bit integers, so we expect uh, much improvement of the, uh, the deep learning kernel uh, in this processor. So, and uh, this is the, uh, the new, new information, so, and the comparison to uh, the, our, uh, the, the post-K processors to the Tesla and uh, Intel Xeon. So, thanks to the great uh, the memory boundaries of the H HBM2, so comparing to the Xeon, so we can achieve the very good performance in uh, at the Himeno benchmark. This is the CFD benchmark, and uh, very, very uh, memory intensive application. So uh, again, uh, the, uh, thanks to the, and, uh, high memory bandwidth, so uh, we can achieve the good performance in, a, in a, this kind of application. So, and, uh, uh, so, low power and, uh, and uh, design and power management, we have ser several uh, the switches to switch on the capabilities of, of the many parts that we call the power node. So, interesting power node is that uh, we switch off the, the one pipe among the two pipes. So, the FLA only is that the mode which, which is using just only one pipe. So this power knob is uh, very efficient to uh, the, uh, uh, the for low powers in uh, the, the, the memory bandwidth intensive application. So that is because the we have, if we have the two pipes, we need uh, more standard, standard standby powers to uh, the make use of the two pipes uh, uh, the immediately. But uh, if we, we can switch off the one pipe, then the, we can uh, reduce the standby powers. This is, this is the, uh, uh, the, this functionalities uh, contribute much uh, for saving the power. So again, the, the KPI. So uh, we can achieve the, the memory very uh, the, uh, the power efficiency, the, especially in a DGM kernel. And uh, we confirm uh, that the 100 times per, faster than the current K, current K computer in uh, the, the MD application called the Genesis. And, uh, and the Nikam TKF, that is the climate simulation and the data simulation uh, the application. And uh, the last one is that the unfortunately or fortunately, we have no accelerator. So that means that uh, we, uh, the, we can use uh, just the shared memory programming. We don't need any uh, the programming effort for the accelerators. So this is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the implementation of the lag and the board. So this is chip. This is uh, interesting. So you can see uh, the HBM2 is the, the, this side and the four, and in the middle, this is the chip for, for the CPU. So, and th this is the comparison of, of uh, uh, advances from the K computer. So K computer is uh, uh, the installed in uh, uh, 2011. Uh, that means that uh, I think uh, seven or five years ago. So it's almost 10 years. So this is the 10 years advance. So, and the number of cores is the 8 to 48. So, and uh, chips uh, is uh, uh, point, uh, 128 uh, the gigabyte per uh, 
uh, teraflops, uh, gear by, uh, gear to the 2.7. That, that means that uh, I think in the chip level, we have the 21 times faster. So, and uh, recently we announced uh, the, the number of the node in the system. So it's, it's more than uh, 150,000 nodes. So that means that if you uh, think of the number of cores, so we are going to have uh, 7. Point million cores in the system. So this is not the uh, same as the in a GPU. So 7.5 general uh, purpose uh, core. So this is, uh, I think uh, this is the grade. So we skipped uh, this and uh, uh, the Renaro and uh, V2 is, uh, is supporting uh, to the main uh, the HPC application. So Fujitsu is uh, already uh, have ported the important application, but we need some modification like this. So, and, uh, uh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay, skip. So, and, uh, uh, so, it's uh, now, so, as I said, uh, the, from uh, uh, the beginning of the next year, uh, we are going to uh, install the system. So, and uh, we have a plan to early access program in uh, uh, spring of the next year. So, and uh, operation will be started from uh, uh, spring of the next, next year. That means that uh, spring of the 2021. So this is a summary. So, the memory bandwidth is a very important factor in the HPC uh, the processor. So we are using uh, the HBM2. So, and this is the good for the deep learning application. And uh, we are carefully designed to reduce the power. And uh, we are very happy to collaborate with the ARM communities. So uh, the, the, we are expecting uh, the contribute uh, and uh, uh, the got help from the um, communities uh, the, for uh, building the ecosystem of the H um, HPC. And the last one is that uh, uh, we don't have uh, any uh, the accelerators, but uh, uh, thanks to the SBE, uh, especially for uh, the FE16 and, uh, and uh, uh, eight point uh, eight bit uh, the integer uh, the the simili instruction set. We are expecting more speed up of the uh, deep learning application. So, thank you for uh, your attention.